bringing on the summer flavour. Mmm. Hellman's. Sponsors this morning food. Uh, best of luck with the competition. And Michaela's here now with a family recipe, which is absolutely fantastic. It's her favourite pasta dish, is that right? Yeah, well, not as pasta, but it does stress me out doing pasta on live TV, I'm not going to lie. But, but, is that because it's been in the family for generations? No, it's Why because that, my though? dad goes absolutely <laughs> bonkers if you overcook pasta. If you overcook right. pasta, you might as well throw it away because it's... It just, it, it's got to be al dente, so trying okay. to do it. I mean, you guys have got your perfect um, pasta there My son's taste. a little bit like that. If it's too soft, he won't eat it. So I've got to get it just right. <laughs> I should it's... just tell him to cook Aiden, it himself, cook it really. Yourself. <laughs> Share like that. Pasta is not <laughs> a dish <laughs> that you no. sit and wait. two and a half hours of life telling so you, get hard. in your work like No. It. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, Mum, I'm like just, a slave. It's just bench pressing, just like doing <laughs> DJ. <laughs> <laughs> right, Michaela, over to you. So pasta doesn't sit around. When it's ready, you've got to, like, the alarms, the pasta alarm's got to go yeah. at the table. You've got to eat it hot. That is probably the biggest tip with any pasta dish, OK? You could dry or... Um... Or, uh, yeah, dried fresh. or pasta. Well, fresh pasta would cook in 30 seconds, no joke. It goes in and it comes out. So it, you, you've, got to, you've got to follow the cook, cooking instructions. But in here, I've got some pancetta. I'm going to pull it off now because I want it really, really crispy yeah. and crunchy. And that's just at the start, some thin pancetta. And I'm going to leave the pancetta fat in there because that's going to give the flavour. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of butter into there. Now my pan's going to be nice and hot, so it's going to probably sizzle. Yeah. So what's, the this, name of, what's the name of this dish? Well, I've called it Pasta de la Nonna, and essentially, what my nonna would do in the summer, it put lemon, OK, so she'd always have lemons in the house, store cupboard, you know, you keep them there. She'd open her fridge, mm. and what's fab about this recipe is you don't really need to cook the sauce, because I'm going to put a little bit of rosemary in there, mm -hmm. and the reason I'm putting that in there is I want it to go crispy, so you can basically enjoy the crunch. Yeah, lovely. And I've got here asparagus and peas, but you could do it with carrots and you can do it with courgette. And what I'm going to do here is gra you grab a whole asparagus, don't take the woody end off yet, and then you're going to speed peel it. And it'll go really, really thin, lovely thin layer. So you could eat that Good raw. Idea. And that is the whole point. This dish can be done in the, the sauce itself in minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you've speed peeled it, you then take the woody end off. And that is going to go in with the lovely rosemary. Okay. Our chat is nice, isn't it? Mm. And can you smell that rosemary already? I mean... You can smell it. Yeah. And you just want it to wilt a little bit. And then I've got some peas. Now, you could go frozen. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you go frozen, they've got to go a little bit longer. You want to heat them up. Lovely summery look to it. Summery, it? summery, summery. It's summer. very lemony, mind. Do you, do you put lemon in yeah. there? Yeah, so that? now I'm going to go in with my lemon. Salt and pepper. Obviously, this is your sauce, so you want to season it well, but it has got the um, the fat from the bacon, which will have a yeah. natural... But at the moment, the, the only, that's the only liquid in there, is it? There's, like, just a bit of the, the butter. And the butter and a bit of, yeah, the pancetta. So, I'm going to show you the, the classic tip when you do pasta. Now, that water the pasta's cooking is, is your magic. Magic ah, water. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. So, we're going to go in with a little bit of lemon first, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go zest and juice. I mean, I am dragging this out to fill my slot, but it is this simple, you know, <laughs> in the sense any, of people well, at home... Have you got any spare pancetta over there that we could eat over here? <laughs> it'll come, it'll come. <laughs> but no. Nonna would, would honestly open the fridge and she'd go... She knew she had her parmigiano and her lemon, which is sort of the base, so you could go speed peel, lovely strands of carrot, courgette, Rocket is another delicious you can one. You it up a little bit. Yeah, well, it, you can sort of, like, pimp it up, depending on what different people in the family like. Whereabouts in Italy is your nonna from? Well, my... So, my parents met in the Welsh-Italian community uh -huh. in Wales, but my nonna Anna's from um, a place called Piacenza, and my dad's family were from a place called Bardi, which, if you go to Bardi in the summer, on the 13th of August, it's a Festa dell'Emigrante, mm -hmm which is the Immigrants' Festa, and wow. it's full of Welsh people. Really? Cookies, they do the Festa with ris massive vats of risotto. Where is it? Bardi, yeah. it's above Parma, so okay. between Milan and Bologna. And when they came over originally, was it to work in the mines? Or yeah, yeah, well, they all... They walked, some of them, to London, um, then walked, went on to Wales, but it was Wales where they set up cafes and yeah. ice cream shops. Yeah. And wow. Right, so there's my sauce. Look at the sauce, it's so nice. It's so nice. So now we're going to put a tiny bit of this pasta juice tiny bit, and this is the gold dust. 
Just we kind of so many pasta recipes involved that, don't they? Just getting yeah, yeah, yeah. a little is bit it of that starch, water. It's that starchy it? water. And I'm going to now, this pasta, we got tagliatelle. Oh, that looks perfect. Gonna Look go at that. straight in there. How long do you reckon that would be boiling for, roughly? Uh, well, this, this pasta needed about seven minutes. OK. Seven minutes. So it it's depends on the pasta, in. doesn't it? And Michele, could you use any other, like, like Spaghetti, long pasta? Yeah. yeah, linguine. This, go this dish goes well with, like, a, a strand, because then all the sauce goes around it. And don't forget, parmesan cheese. So, at we, the end... We never would. Parmesan cheese. It's in, the con it's in your rider. It is. A little bit of olive oil and the pancetta. So what I'm going to do with the pancetta, I don't know if you can taste it, is I'm going to put, get these crispy bits, crumble them in to the actual sauce, and then right on the top, for decorative purposes, you just put, which yours has clearly been... Oh, we in. love the pancetta. That went straight <laughs> away, didn't it? <laughs> it was the first thing we ate. Didn't even last five seconds. Delicious. Yeah, and that's <laughs> it. So, plate it up, and then on the plate... I think your papa would be happy with that. Really that looks, fresh. That I think well, the thing is, you know, when it's dente. hot in the summer, you want something really fresh. It's that citrus. And, and this looks like quite a cheap meal as well, not too expensive. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you could yeah. feed, what, a family of four, would you say? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, easily. Yeah, no, and look sure. at that, with the bits of panchita on the top. I think that panchita you... with the citrus, you've got the crunch, so you've got nice. the saltiness. Really fresh yeah. and nice. Thank you so much. Hi, Thanks, Michele yeah. Chiappa. No worries. Buon estate. Enjoy Thank the summer. You. Buon Thank estate. Thank you. For all the details of today's recipe and more wonderful ideas from this morning's chefs, check out the free This Morning app.